Hi everyone, Mrs. Tamita here again with another art assignment. This week we are going to make little textured spring birds inspired by the work of Justin Landon, and these may look familiar to some of you. First we're going to talk a little bit about what texture is, and I'll show you some of Justin Landon's artwork, and then I will show you how to draw a cute little bird with this one. First, texture is the way something feels. So some examples of texture could be soft, rough, smooth, fuzzy, pokey, slimy, but there are a ton more than that. Artists use texture in their artwork all the time to show the viewer what their subject feels like. Next, let's look at Justin Landon's work. Justin Landon is a contemporary artist from Germany, and his illustrations are usually of animals, and he is always sure to show texture in his work. And these pieces are the inspiration for our little spring bird this week. So now let's draw our own little birds. Just like last week, I'm using something circular from around the house to start. I'm going to use something a little bit larger though. For me, it's the lid from my container of yogurt, but if you can't find anything the right size or shape, that's okay. Just start by drawing a large circle. And I'm just using Sharpie so you guys can see my lines. You can use whatever utensil that you prefer. And now we are going to add an eye. But wait, do not add a second eye. We are drawing our bird in profile, or from the side. From this view, we only have one eye on the side of the head. I'm drawing my eye like they do in the Art Hub videos. You know, a circle with two smaller circles inside it, and then I'll color in the larger circle. Now I will add a beak, which is just a little triangle, kind of even with the eye. Next, I'm going to draw a loop around the eye. This loop will make it so my eye doesn't get lost or disguised by all the texture I'm going to add later. Now, add a line that goes all the way from the edge of that loop to the outside of your little bird's body. This is going to be the start of the tail. From that line I just drew, I will draw a curve to create a back tail feather. And maybe I'll add a couple of extra. And now it's time for a wing. This is just a curve on the side of the body, or maybe like a U-shape. If you have your own way of drawing a wing, draw it your own way. And now I'm gonna draw two bird legs. You've done this before. Just two sticks, as long or as short as you want, with a couple of toes. And congrats, you've drawn a little bird. Now let's add some texture. Here are some ideas you can use for your bird, or you can make your own up. I like to use lots of different textures on mine. Just have fun with it. I'm going to leave my bird as black and white because I like that look. But if you want to add color, go for it. Have fun everybody. I can't wait to see what you make. 